Hello, thank you for joining Masses Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we're going to see how to write text files. Last time we saw how to read text files. Now, writing text files also involves three steps. First of all, we need to open file. To open a file, we use OpenSec. Then, once a file is opened, we get a pointer to the file, which we use to write data. So to write data in InfoBasic or JBC, we use WriteSec. Once we have written data to our file, if we no longer need the pointer, we need to close that file. We use ClosSec to close the file. Now let's see a simple use case, a logger. A logger is going to log details taken from another program to a certain file on T24 server. Okay, let's see how to do that. Now to save our time, I've written some simple code. So I created a simple program, which is going to call a subroutine called training logger. We give it hello, and it runs an error. We check if we don't have an error, uh, then we are going to print OK. If you have an error, then we are going to print the error. And our logger is very simple. So it receives the data, and uh, we are initializing error uh, to empty string. And we're just printing data, whatever we receive and return, which means if we run this program, it's going to print uh, the data, hello, and then OK, because error is empty. Of course, you need to register this in a component. So our component, Simple MX Training, has only one method, logger with which refers to this JBC routine MX logger. Okay. Now let me run this program so that we can see what how it works. Okay. Simple as predicted we have hello and okay. Now maybe let's make some small improvement. Let's prompt the user to a text which they want to log. We use prompt 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 and uh, message okay for instance or text message message okay um, then instead of printing hello let's log this message so we do input data and we pass this data here, or we can just call text. Enter text. Let's enter a text to log. So they know that we're going to log the text. Then uh, after this, let's just print, uh, just, just for separating, let's print uh, an empty string. Then we are going to log our text. So whatever the user is going to enter on the console is going to be passed to this logger as inward parameter. And for now, this logger will just display whatever text the user has entered, the same text. And if no error, of course, if there's an error, it's going to print the error. Otherwise, it's going to print text and OK. OK, let's see that. Um, decompile. It's mx dot test proc. Successful compiled. So let's run it again. 
it says enter text to log i may say hello and run okay sure enough it prints hello Aaron and okay okay but it's not a logger yet because just printing the screen our purpose is to save these details to a file good now let's go to the log i've created um a folder outside t24 home uh, bnk.log but now it is empty uh, the purpose is to log or to create our logs to this folder bnk.log how to do that so this is i think it's not the one you don't need this one you want to log here let's log it here um then uh, instead of printing data you're just going to log the data to the file now um a log file normal log files are these four specific patterns for instance we can say log file the log file i want to create you can say we can it's going to be let's say test no no test underscore maybe today's date today's date can be taken from date it's a function date and this function date we can uh, do just or conf we print we convert this to dg which is a t24 format okay then maybe you can also add extension dot log sorry dot log okay so we want to create a file a log file called test with today's date test underscore today's date and uh, the log path we said is going to be this one so we can use opensec to open that this log file or to create it if it does not exist to do that we use opensec as we already know so opensec we want to open a folder first which is bnk.log and in bnk.log we want to open this log file okay if it doesn't exist it's going to create it but once we do open we, we use open seg we get a pointer and the pointer variable we are going to use we can name it how we want for instance we can name it uh file <laughs> file pointer then if it exists don't we don't want to return an error we just say okay we ignore that okay if it exists it's going just to open it if it does not exist it's going to create it okay but we want to give any error all right now the second step as you have said is to use right sake to write to the log file so you can do sorry all right sake what do you want to write want to write the data which we received so this is say data um now because this is a log file normally we need to append we don't need to overwrite uh, the file okay we need to append uh, to the existing data okay if it has already let's say five lines we're going to append to the same line now we need to write to our pointer file pointer this is the reason we opened it we open the file we get a pointer and then you write to the pointer okay 
Now I want to say if we fail to write to the file, so this is else, what do we do? We're just going to return the error. So I want to say uh, error equals to something like text like uh, failed, or we can say error. Well, it's really caps, maybe. Failed to write to whatever file, log file. Our log file is called, let me do this. We can do this. Okay, yeah. So our log file is called log file. Okay. You're just going to say, okay, append the data we received to this file pointer, because when, when we open, we get a pointer to the file which we used. If we fail to write, then we are going to say error, fail to write to this. Okay. As we said, after writing to a file, similar to the way when we open a file, after opening a file and reading the file, we need to close the file. So to close the file, we use close sec. Okay, close this our file pointer, okay, which is already open. That's all. Now we recap. Uh, we receive data, which we are going to log. We are going to append to the text file, which is already opened, which is located in bnk.log. For now, it's going to have the name as test with today's date and extension of the log. It's going to look like this test uh, 2023.07.30 dot log. This is the file which is going to be created. So it's going to create a file like this. Okay. Under here. So because you can see here, it, now we don't have this file. That this file should be created once we run our program, which is going to call this subroutine. All right. Um, but I think uh, since it's a log file, let's also add some time. Let's add time. So let's add uh, a variable to keep uh, the time and the message. So we can maybe call it log line, because this is the line or line, which is going to be the time. So we have function time. But let's also convert it to a human readable format. So we do a conv time. Let's use MTS. So minute, time, and second as well, all included. And also we combine that with uh, some separator for, for an application to be able to pass our log. Maybe you can use pipe as a separator and then we also add the data which we have received and instead of logging this data we can log the line okay then uh, we can say okay log line so write this line which is going to be the time when it is received uh, with the data, piped data, and we append it to the text file. Okay, I think this should be enough. If you want, you can log also. We can also add maybe the level, for instance, if it's an error, which is um, a debug, whatever. But I leave that to you to expand on this. Let's compile this subroutine. T compile mx dot logger okay i think it's compiled successfully with no error yes compiled no errors um then let's run our program our program does not change anyway but what's going to change is this file which is going to be created 
Okay. Let's run a program. Um, to run. Let's log some message like um, hello there. Just hello there. Enter. Looks okay because we have okay, which means the log file we successful log to the file. Let's check. Yeah. The file is created. So let's uh, see how it looks like if we have the content. So we can use test. Voila. We have the time and the message hello there. Okay. So we can also test again. Uh, Let's say uh, hello. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is the best logger written uh, in info basic. Okay, let's check. All right, so at this time we said hello and now we have another message, okay? All right, thank you. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Please make sure to like this video and share the link with your friend. If you have any question, please ask in the comment. See you next. Bye-bye.